hello and welcome or welcome back if you're coming back again i'm so happy to have you back and if you're new then welcome my name is suzanne and i am a stay-at-home mom to three girls and on my channel i like to post things that are related to lifestyle motherhood and small business because i'm a small business owner now um, and cleaning and organizing and all those fun things so Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a fall reset for you. This is just a reset day where I get things done that need to get done. Uh, a lot of it is stuff that gets done every week. Some of it is stuff that gets done every other week. And I do some things that I didn't show on camera, but um, I can put those in another reset video coming up. So I am just going to let everything play and let you enjoy. And if you have some cleaning and resetting to do, then you can do it right along with me. My reset days almost always start off with laundry and emptying the dishwasher. In between, I will make myself breakfast and coffee and make my two youngest daughters breakfast and uh, get them taken care of. But I like to throw laundry in right away so that can get going and I can finish it up throughout the day. And then I like to empty my dishwasher so I can go ahead and put all the dishes during the day into it instead of having one big pile at the end of the night. Step over splinters of the moon. Laundry for me, if I'm being honest, is probably one of my least favorite chores. I don't mind doing it and I don't mind throwing it from the washer to the dryer and all that, but I just have never ever liked folding laundry. I try to just get through it as best I can. I almost always will fold laundry here on my couch so I can keep an eye on my girls and watch the TV because I don't have a TV in my bedroom, so we just have the one big TV in the living room. So I'll try to get everything done and just get through it as best I can because it's just really not my favorite thing to do. I do clean both of our bathrooms. This is the main bathroom. I don't show me cleaning the master bathroom a lot just because it's a really small bathroom and it's so tight in there to clean and have to film it. Uh, I probably will include it on my next reset video, um, but it's just, it's really, really small in there and it's so hard to find a good angle to film and um, I don't have a lot of counter space to set my camera. So I usually will just show this bathroom. Every time I wash all of the bathroom mats and uh, hand towels and stuff, I will try to throw in the bathroom towels too. It's usually all my daughter's towels. So I have a five-year-old, an almost three-year-old, and then a 19-year-old. So they all use this bathroom. So I'll try to wash their things uh, and have them nice and fresh for the week as well, even though we do have more laundry, but it's just kind of nice to get it all done together.
usually Sundays, um, if not every Sunday, every other Sunday is my plant watering day. Today it was going to rain, so I just went ahead and put them outside. If it's not going to rain, then I will use the hose and water them. Uh, but it's just a good way to kind of remind me <laughs> to get that done every Sunday. Usually once a week, I will also clean my sink with some baking soda and some vinegar and some dish soap too, and just kind of let that sit. I love to wipe down all the surfaces. I'm using a kind of uh, cedar smelling spray. I don't have any fall sprays right now, but it smells really good. It's from Trader Joe's, and it just makes the whole house smell nice and cozy. So this is one of my favorite things to do each week. It's always shocking to me every week how much dust and dog hair accumulates when I know that I'm wiping everything off weekly. I like to finish off with my wax warmer. I will put some nice fall smelling, or right now I have some vanilla smelling wax melts in there, and it just kind of signifies to me that the living room area is done. Then I will move on to my kitchen and wipe down all the surfaces and finish up with the sink. As I've said before, if I don't show it on camera, that doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't get done. Just sometimes I'll do things off camera to hurry up and complete my task that I have to do. Uh, also, I have my two and a half year old. She is so clingy right now and I'm not sure if it's a phase or what, but I kind of just do things in spurts of moments where she's not needing me to pick her up all the time. So again, just if I didn't show it, it probably got done just off camera. I will usually wash bedding every Sunday too. I'll wash ours and our youngest girl's bedding and then our 19 year old does her own laundry so she takes care of that herself. definitely not a weekly reset task but it's one that I've been putting off because I have to do it when everyone is asleep for the night and usually by then I have no steam left to do anything but I really needed to wash our couch cushion covers I tried to do this a few times during the year but it is so difficult the cushions are made from this like foamy I don't even know what you call it but it, they tear so easily and it's just such a hassle especially because we spend a lot of the day on the couch it takes up pretty much the whole living room so it's really hard to go through the day and not sit on it but i really really wanted to get these washed so i waited till everyone went to bed as you can see my five-year-old's brushing her teeth and then i threw all of the covers into the washing machine and then i grabbed my vacuum and went through and tried to vacuum up as much of the dog hair and all the little food particles and all the nasty that accumulates in the couch as much as I could 
and uh, just it felt so good to get it done it's again not my favorite thing to do but it was so so worth it I love how the couch looks once it's all clean and everything's vacuumed and washed and put back together especially this time of year for the fall it just makes it seem even more cozy that's going to do it for this reset day I will have a lot more reset days coming up soon as well as some more motherhood and lifestyle videos and some small business videos as well so thank you so so much for being here as always and for supporting my channel and I am so excited to see you in the next video.